Hey, you there. I, I can see you on the cameras. Okay, I am so happy to see you and I need your help with something. And wait, can you even hear me? Hello? Okay, listen. If you can hear what I'm saying, uh, wave at any camera. Thank God, I am so glad you're here. I thought this was the end. I was looking around and walked into the security room, then that door just closed behind me and I've been stuck inside since. It, it needs a light blue key card to open, but I don't have it. I, I know why you're here and I can help you, but you've got to get me out of here. Uh, if I recall correctly, only Natus workers held a light blue key card, so you're gonna have to go down to Natus' room and look at him. The door there is probably locked as well. Um, and I can't open it from here, but I do have control over the break room door. Okay, here. I open it for you. See if you can find something useful. You drew a drones. I lost mine a couple weeks ago. Um, maintenance workers use it for all sorts of things, like reaching high places and grabbing things that fall into the abyss, and sometimes even comfort. It's good that you all have one. It might be useful in our little conundrum. Um, take a look around and see if you can figure out how to get into the maintenance room. I'm not sure if it can be much help, uh, but. Wave at the camera if you need an insight. My memory is a little fuzzy, but I do remember something about management allowing workers with good scores to punch in later than those with worse scores. Basically, the better the performance, the later you're allowed to punch in. This was to encourage workers with lower scores to come earlier and perform better. Naturally, this meant that the person with the lowest score would be punching it first. And to make sure this was always the case, an assistant was set up to only allow workers to punch in at the perfect order that assumes nobody was going to be late. Yeah, the system wasn't very well liked. Three birds with one stone. I get all your key cards, the perfect specimen, and I don't have to deal with that thing down there. And it's all thanks to you. Oh, come on, I didn't hit you that hard. Or, or maybe I did. Either way, it's best to take a nap while I prepare for our little surgery. You know, on a normal day, you'd be standing where I am, behind the safety of this class, like you're in a zoo watching some animals. Speaking of zoos, it's almost assembly time, where all of the doors open, so we must keep this brief. Look, uh, I'm sorry I hit you, but you gotta understand, I needed something from you that I could only get if you're unconscious, and I was all out of sedatives. If you had seen me, you would have trusted me, and I know. But, there was one thing I didn't like to hear about, and that's me knowing why you're here. You're here for your children. I too am working towards saving them, if you can believe it. But, someone else has them, someone far stronger than you and me both that reside deep in the abyss. Oh no, okay. You've gotta go. There is an elevator in Opila Bird's walkway. Uh, take it and we'll talk again down there. <laughs>